So here is the monolith. You can spin around it in uh, 360 degrees. That's pretty cool. So let's examine this. We've got something missing here. Looks like this side is missing a part. Who's that? Nancy Drew, or should I say, Detective Drew. I'm Sinclair. Oh, it's Taylor Sinclair, the art dealer. Who told you I was a detective? I was at a meeting with the BOD recently, and I caught wind of your appointment and your credentials. Very impressive, if I do say so myself. Wow, that is a crazy tie, and his mustache well, is... Well, I'm not on a case Whoa. right now, that's for sure. I'm the new deputy curator, remember? Mm -hmm. So, how's this for a specimen? Ever seen a million dollars worth of rock before? Do diamonds count? Yeah. Oh, well, they did say you were sharp. Seriously, though, thank goodness you're here. I'm afraid the museum may be in terrible jeopardy. What? What kind of jeopardy? Joanna told me to butt out, but I'm so fond of Beach Hill, I just hate to see it fall prey to scoundrels. What's so going I on? You to butt out? Of what? It's a sensitive subject. Meet me in my office later and I'll explain everything then. You've got me worried. Can't we talk now? Yeah. Just meet me later. 707 Bing Cherry Boulevard. I've got to go. Enjoy your first day at Beach Hill. Okay, see you later, Mr. Sinclair. Giving us a mysterious warning and then leaving. Enjoy your first day at Beach Hill. Oh boy, Mr. Sinclair, we're going to meet him later on in the game. Well, we already met him, but we're going to go to his office later on in the game. Do -do 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 -do. What's this? Ooh, this is pretty cool. Ooh, the bird jaguar. The Maya kings were often mm -hmm. in a protracted state of war with local kahals. Here, bird These things are very interesting. You can learn about Before you can learn a lot about uh, Maya history. Are the headband twins? And this is a marriage lintel. Oh. Okay. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Do, 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 do. And now that. Why use different methods Whoops. to represent numbers? Here is an example of the numbers from 0 to 9. Now, see, we've got a problem here. Top left to bottom right. Notice how some numbers are represented You don't with know uh, what the numbers mean, some right? Some are represented with pictures. I don't know the Mayan numbering system. So we're actually going to have to find the information somewhere else by going to Nancy's hotel room. Do -do 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 -do. Hotel room, hotel room. You can double click to uh, skip the uh, traveling sequence. And now see here. Nancy's computer, we have the uh, disc from Sunny June. Dogo! Oh, it's Nancy's puppy dog. Oh, he's kind of cute. Enter Sunny's password. What's his password? Sunny is cool. Wrong, try again. Oh, it's the cow guy. So here's your hint. He says, I feel like some Cocoa Kringles. Cool. Stuff to do. Okay, let's see what uh, he needs to do. The narration. So this helps with the narration puzzle. Well, that's fancy. I could have done that earlier. Temple quizzes. This is important. To log on S. June pass password space baby. Temple quizzes. That is when you go inside the temple. I haven't done that yet. Stuff to remember. Flying saucers. Alright. Stuff to remember. Here is how you know about the uh, numbering system. Very easy. And here are pictures of the various numbers, in case you wanted to know that. Awesome, so, um, I think that's everything you have to know, everything you have to know, right? I'm going to say that's everything you have to know. Do, 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 do. Let's call Nancy's friends. Oh. Let's call her friends. Let's call Bess and George, eh? 5, 2, 3, 5, 5, 5, 4, 4, 6, 8. <laughs> Hey, Ben. 
Chris. It's me, Nancy. What's new? It's pouring rain. George and I are in the middle of a heated game of go fish, and I'm winning. Don't believe a word she says, Nancy. Last hand, I made mincemeat out of her. Anyway, we don't want to make you homesick. How's the internship going? So far, so good. There's a lot of excitement about the upcoming exhibit, especially mm -hmm. since we have the Palenque monolith. Monolith. Oh, the monolith. It's a giant block of stone recently excavated from a cave near Palenque in Mexico. Apparently, it's a very big deal. They think it's 1,500 years old. Mm -hmm. So, have you seen it? This, uh, monolith? Yeah, it's humongous. Must weigh a ton. As big as a refrigerator? <laughs> Maybe Bigfoot's refrigerator. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Nancy, but how would a person tell this monolith apart from, say, some other big rock? Well, for one thing, it has Maya glyphs carved into it. Pictures that represent words or ideas, also known as logographs. Joanna says the glyphs might be a Logo message from graphs. King Pakal. What kind of message? We don't know yet. Henrik Vanderhuhn, Beach Hills epigrapher, is working on a translation. Mm -hmm. Who was King Pakal? He's considered one of the great Maya rulers. He reigned at the height of the Maya civilization. Well, Nancy, you're sounding very curatorial. Very curatorial indeed. We've been worried that you would be a little bored without a mystery to solve, but it sounds like your brain will have plenty to chew on. The whole Maya culture is a mystery to me at the moment. The last thing I'm going to be is bored. I'm sure of that. Speaking of kings, this card game's not over yet, Bess. Yes, well, I hope you've got plenty of bait for your fishing pole, dear cousin. Okay, you two. I'll call back later. Call back soon. Yeah, and good luck. Okay, so that's Bess and George. Now let's visit Mr. Sinclair. Do, 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 do. Washington Metro. Do, do, do. And here's his office. Fine art and rare antiquities. It's about time. Oh, my fears are like maggots infesting my poor old carcass. Want a cookie? They're from Oaxaca. Okay. No, thank you. You said Beach Hill is in jail. Yeah. I need to know why. No time for cookies. The art world is being ransacked, Nancy. Prudence Rutherford, a major patron of the arts, had her fire ruby necklace stolen from her villa in Topeka. Oh no. Two weeks later, a whole display case full of rare Maya artifacts was heisted from a museum in New Mexico. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Do you think there's a connection between the two thefts? Who knows? I'm just telling you, this community our friends and colleagues, my people, are being systematically trounced by thugs! Who's to say Beach Hill won't be next? You've got to do something! Doesn't Beach Hill have a security system in place? Yeah. The museum has a basic alarm system, but it's not exactly state-of-the-art. I've urged Joanna to approach the board about making some security upgrades, but she just keeps saying that the timing isn't right to ask for money. I understand your concern, but... What can I do to help? Yeah. We need your eagle eyes. We need your bat ears. We need you to sniff out the stink of trouble. Okay, you're getting a little overexcited. I'll do my best, but it sounds like what you really need is a new breed of police dog. Don't play modest mouse with me. Oh, um, modest mouse? Modest mouse? <laughs> Most people call me Nosy Parker. But anyway, tell me something about the art business. Is that a contemporary painting? You bet your socks it is. Would you believe I dug it up in my backyard? Ah, oh, looks like it. I'm just kidding. No, but I could humor you. I guess that would make the painting a genuine artifact. How about that rubber shark? Mm -hmm. The artist's name is Poppy Dada. She's a teenager in South Dakota. The art world is going bananas over her stuff. I'll unload that one for some serious dinero. Oh, we can talk to him about a lot of things. Is Puppy Dada her real name? I don't know. So basically, all that stuff we talked to him about is going to become important later on in the game. Basically, there's been a series of thefts involving uh, Mayan uh, artifacts, and there's an artist called Poppy Dada. Yay!